was last in my class. Your theories are the worst kind of popular tripe. Your methods are sloppy and your conclusions are highly questionable. All right, everybody, good evening. Dr. Incompetent here, getting ready to begin another fantastic foray into the world of Might and Magic 3, which they call the Isles of Terra. So, uh, our ninjas left off in a little place I like to call the Tomb of Terror. We had effectively cleared the beginning of this and just needed to get past some annoying teleporting tiles and take on our good friend, the Vampire Lord, and what other just terrible enemies are in here. I think we're strong enough to where it doesn't matter. Now, conveniently, where the map leaves off, as you can see here, that's where the teleportation happens. So I'm gonna step forward, and I'm gonna see if I can just jump one square, or if that's going to be not sufficient to get us through here. So somebody's got, here it is, the old box of jumping. Now, um, because the box of jumping is essential, um, I am gonna have to, unfortunately, take the time to have somebody like Lady Green throw on this necklace. Actually, she's just going to permanently wear this. It's better than her amber pendant. Um, so we're going to use this on Fat Shadow and recharge his box of jumping, which was down to four charges. Remember that they kindly put the charges up here if you are recharging. Okay, so now that the box is primed it's time everyone for the magic all right let's see and we jump over these squares here and it looks like we might be able to go back nope before still repels us okay so they were completely on to that little attempt to get past this jargon all right well um so we can jump here can I jump again, like, over this way? Are we going to have force problems? I wonder what would happen if I walk backwards, if that would work. Anyway, I'll try that in a second if this teleports me. Okay, we made it one square. Oh, force repelled me. So jumping works. Moving, not so much in the Tomb of Terror. All right, I am going to uh, be a moron, first of all, and let that happen. But I'm going to try walking backwards. And see if that does anything. <laughs> Look at that. So if you do walk backwards, you can get where you need to go. So I'm going to step backwards into this trap. And they're just going to take my gems all day long until I get to unlock this door. Ooh, the force repelled me even there. My god, is it every square? Well, this is a delight. This is a navigational delight, let me tell you. A locomotive laugh. Asinine ambulation. All right, anyway. Let's look around and see what the crap is even in here. Some caskets. I'm huge into caskets, so that's good. Let's just shoot. Start blowing these guys up. Alright. Okay, so let's then... Oh, let's walk, walk, and move. Yep. You know, I just... Oh, Ancient Artifact of Evil, that's great. Alright, shoot, shoot. Okay. Now, I just thought of something which is, I should have saved it before I did that. I'll save it now, just in case there was some kind of disastrous consequence to lying in wait. Couple ancient artifacts of evil. 
All right. Kind of wish I could burn these or something. I hate giving them to Malfactor. But maybe if he decorated his castle, you know, a little bit, it would go a long way into him um, lightening up a little bit. You know, just embracing life and maybe, just maybe, uh, being that guy that turns a new leaf, stops being so evil for just for just one moment, right? I doubt it, but it would be worth it. Uh, I actually had a conversation with a much more successful streamer than myself uh, on Reddit earlier, and, you know, the trend is to have no border, no background, nothing, just to display the entire game screen and then have a green screen that features you and your $10,000 gaming chair. Um, and I understand that that more minimal approach might be better, and I, I might be trending toward that direction. I'm curious to see what you guys think, if that's, like, where I should go, or if that's a complete, you know, waste of time, or, um, anyway, I'm still tinkering with the aesthetic and the overall design here. I wonder if the rules are different because I don't have my image on the screen. Um, ooh, look at that, an ultimate power orb just sitting there for me to walk backwards upon. Yes! Man, I'm getting really, really close to having enough. Uh-oh. Oh, fantastic. Um, to having enough of the good stuff. And by the good stuff, I mean power orbs. Oh my god, there's another one in here? Man, this Tomb of Terror is working out. We're just getting ultimate power orbs like it's Christmas in here. Okay, so there's the next place I need to go. Now, the only problem is this is really silly walking backwards everywhere. Oh. Uh, the only problem I run in... I'm going to step forward and leave. Um, at least it teleports me instantly. I need to rest because a bunch of people are knocked out. Um, also, I'm cursed. I need to just leave. I don't. Ha I don't think I have enough torches uh, to even rest and deal with this. All right. So I am going to get out. Luckily, this place is a, is a nice, you know, pretty much straight shot with these wide open hallways and chambers. So I can do this pretty successfully. Yeah, let's get the heck out of here. And um, go back to the old Swamp Towner. That's what insiders call Swamp Town, by the way. Swamp Towner. Ooh, we found some trolls. So these guys can climb the mountains. They're not worried. There we go. Here's Swamp Town. Oh, look at this guy. Sneaking in. You trickster. This is a good idea, anyway, to go back to Swamp Town at this point, because... Uh, what it lets me do is heal up and then get torches and also turn in these ultimate power orbs. Uncurse, please. Uncurse. Yay, uncurse. Take these sad faces away. I got two million gold on me, which is pretty spicy, but let me look at my bank situation. Hmm, not bad. Not bad. We've received the stimulus checks. Things are looking up. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go talk to our buddy. The Fine King. Let's rest. We gotta buy a torch. All right, might as well buy some rope. Just in case, we just never know. Go put these ultimate power orbs in their place. I could go give these ultimate artifacts to Malfactor, but a hundred thousand experience just ain't what it used to be. All right, so let me look at our awards situation. 
10 orbs. So we just need to give one more orb to the good king, and he'll give us, uh, like, some kind of key card to get into the pyramid. So that's great. Get out of here. Let's go to our good friends over in Red Hot. See what's happening here. Check out the Coliseum. Train it up. Train. Train. All right. Look at this. Oh, man. We're getting really, really close to everybody getting another attack. Brilliant. Okay. Okay. We got the watermelons chopped up pretty good. And we need to go in here and just test their inventory. See if he's got anything. He's got a ruby katana, which I'll investigate that. I'll put that to the test. Nine, yep. See if it's better than anything else I have equipped. The plate mail of feasting is cool. Make some food for yourself. Uh, I see an amber cameo, which sells well, but... Not really interested in that right now. Don't need it. Let me look at my inventory. Make sure nobody is busted up. No busted. No busted. Busted. Uh, nine. Identify, please. It's plus six and it's six to 24 for a one-handed weapon. You currently are using a much better thing. What do you have? Let's fix your ring mail first. Uh... Yeah, that, that's better. Um, you've got an obsidian. You have radiating, which we need. Emerald bardiche. Hmm. Yeah, better. Okay. Well, you win some, you lose some. We'll just sell it back to the shop. That's a cool thing about being a merchant, is that, like, you buy something and then from the shop, and then you can just sell it back at full price. No markup, you know? Just gives you a chance to check it out. Shake your tail feathers. Take it for a test drive and return it. Okay. So, we're all good there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, it smells like it's time to just go back to the Tomb of Terror then. Actually, no, I'll go to Sea Dog and buy one more torch. I'll buy another torch. It's the smart thing to do, to just get myself that other torch from the ship's store here. Anything? I'm just looking for something with a magical brand at this point. Hint, hint, light. Okay. All right, we're good. Hop back into the old town portal. And go to Swamp Town. And let's clear the crap out of this terrifying locale known as the Tomb of Terror. Although right now it's, it's being pretty gentle with us, which I appreciate. The Vampire Lord could be another story. So let's not count our proverbial chickens, shall we? All right. Hey, Fading, I don't know if you're there. Did you get your miniature stuff in the mail yet? Or is it is it delayed because of the old COVID? Some of it? Do you start yet? Or do you need some more of it? Trickling in. Yeah, that's how the COVID does it. Look at this, I didn't even go this way, whoops. Not like there's necessarily anything good here, but... I might as well clear out the place. Yeah, open it up. A short sword, a belt, gauntlets, plate mail, padded armor, longbow. Alright, well there's at least treasure. Oh, the scroll crumbles. The scroll... Wow, another door that I just didn't explore. This is embarrassing. Uh, that was a pretty...
piss poor job of door management on my part. Apologize to everyone involved. Alright. I don't think YOLOing here is working like I want it to. So let's see if I have anything I can use. Man, that platinum plate mail is pretty sexy. Does anybody, anywhere, have anything for me? Let's see. Let's just see. Hmm? What you got? What you got? Distortion? That's not going to do anything. Um... Oh, I do have this teleportation if I need it. Alright, that's nice. Alright. Your backpack's full. Oh, that's a damn shame. Can I give you... Can I dump something over here? Yeah, let's just dump everything that we don't think we're going to be using. And then I'll take this fireball stuff. Excuse me, enemies, while I just change armor so I can use it. Right, 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 right. Okay. Now I'm going to use it. There we go. Hey, we did it. Get out of here. Wow, that almost wiped us. That was some serious electricity there. Good lord. Alright. Some characters may die. Rest anyway. Well, that's never what I want to see. Okay, so the curse is going to kill us, apparently. Um, let's throw some of this stuff over here. So Phineas was getting all of the... Ooh! Obsidian Naginata, my lord. All right, that's a huge pickup. Obsidian Scimitar would be good. Unfortunately, we can't use a scimitar, I don't think. The Diamond Cape is awesome. Man, this place just has some seriously good treasure. Uh, God, I'm going to save it and see if I can pick this lock with Twinkle. He got it, and it's just a scroll. Okay. So, this is time for us to, unfortunately, leave and come right back after a little trip to the old temple. We got some people who are cursed who are going to die, so we don't want that to happen, surprisingly. All right. Now they died anyway. Jesus. Died on the way over. Sorry about that, everybody. That's embarrassing. Well, this Tomb of Terror has got to be taken care of, but it's really being annoying. What with its cursing. Okay. So, first off, let's see what you have as a weapon. You have an obsidian dagger, which is good. Yours is definitely good. Your Radiating Gold Dagger is good against ghosts. Your Emerald Bardache is going to be completely outclassed by this Obsidian Naginata. So we will give it to you. And we will say, use this. Um, you have, what? A Diamond Dagger, which is good. And this Gold uh, Wakazashi is still pretty good. All of our stuff is busted, by the way. Equip. We don't really need to jump anymore now that we know we can walk backwards. All right, so let's repair all of our gear. Okay. Fixing it all. Fixing it up. Patching it up. Doing the work that needs doing. All right. Now, the next thing I need to do is see what the armor situation is like for everybody. Obsidian. Obsidian. You just look for the word obsidian at this point. 
this quartz ringmail, um, how good is this? It's plus 10. It's a question of whether or not this, um, oh, where is it? We got some, I think it's sapphire padded armor or something like that. Yeah. Plus 16. Yeah, I'd say that's better than your quartz armor. Okay. Um, the gold trident is just turds. The gold ringmail is turds. The amber pendant, uh, we'll get rid of that. Obsidian scimitar. Let me just double check that ninjas can't use this. They can't. It's awesome, but we have to let it go. The diamond cape is what? Plus 17. Just abs complete absurdity. We'll take complete absurdity all day of the week. Every day of the week, I guess I should say. Uh, what kind of cape do you have on? You have a ruby cape. Well, that's pretty damn good. What do you got? A platinum cape. That's also good. Obsidian robes. Well, we're not going to beat that. Ebony cape looks like a pile of crap, right? Plus five. Yeah, get, get out of here with that. And give the man the diamond cape. All right, the sapphire glaive is 24 to 32. Is it better than your diamond dagger? No, it's not. Emerald bardiche we sell. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anything else we need to get rid of here? The Platinum Plate Mail is a seller. The Gold Longbow is a sell. Okay. Alright, I think we've actually... Th oh, we got some more stuff here. Uh, this Platinum Belt is plus 8, which is tremendously powerful. The Short Sword can go to hell. Um, what kind of a belt do you have? A Power Belt? Plus 13 Elemental Resistance. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, per se, but... It doesn't provide any defense. Uh, so, good night. Oh, well, wait a minute. No, it's energy resistance. I, I was going to say, is that just flat resistance all the way across? No. Chainmail of Distortion. So there's a magical brand, just nothing else. Okay. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, okay. Um, let's go. Yeah, we're gonna leave Swamp Town. Are you shocked? Are you impressed? Are you sad? All of those things could be possible, right? Okay, we're gonna save it. And we're down to one torch, so that really puts us in a pickle. Alright, who's got the torch? You know what? I don't even know if I need a torch in this place anymore. I might as well equip the good stuff, though. Um, I don't want anyone to be... Oh, these are bad. We're just going to um, discard them. Oh, right. Uh, remove your... That thing and equip this. This will be good for the pyramids. We'll save it. Alright, is everybody equipped with the crap that they need at this point? Looks like it. And you had the torch, right? Use it. Abuse it. Okay. Let's jump over to the world of... This. And we'll just go ahead and walk backwards. We'll save it and start to see where we're getting to. Oh, I couldn't even talk to the guy. I'm going to go over there and talk to him. And I bet he's going to say some, like, really funny, asinine comment. Like, thanks for coming over to see me, you jerk. No, he's not saying anything to me. Huh. Well, that's a bummer. Death that is not death awaits those who disturb the soul of Von Imosh, master of the walking dead. Okay, that's a 
a little more upsetting than I wanted. Von Emo is right. Walking Dead. Some necromancer. Okay. So, we're walking backwards. We're having a blast. Can you imagine having to walk backwards in a place where you know there's a vampire lord and a lich? Man. I can't walk backwards now, and there's no vampires around me. Ugh. Oh no. All that for that. Well, we're gonna rest. I don't even care that we lose our light. We have to have that happen. Alright, we're just gonna remove this steel orb. Equip the uh, seven, equip seven, use, and then we're going to go back into your inventory and remove this and equip this and be back into the world where we just will look with our wizard eye in the upper right corner. You can see it here, just standing proud, tall, beautiful, majestic, and we use that majesticness. To sneak around. Alright, there goes the gems for the year. Okay, so... I will save it. And then just walk backwards. And anticipate that we're going to have to fight a bunch of crap. Ghoul. Alright, well, ghoul's not too bad. I guess the only bummer of this is it's going to... Uh, deprive us the graphic of seeing Von Imosh. So we're going to have to fight him in the dark. The name of Von Imosh can barely be seen through the creeping vines that cover the stone tomb. Open the lid. And this is always a good idea. Real life, in the game, if you see a tomb, you're going to open it no matter what, right? But... If you see a tomb that's got vines and a scary name on it, that's just a no-brainer open it up. There's no hesitation. All right, so we open it. He picked the lock. We got cursed, which is not, you know, unsurprising. And it's the Vampire King. He pops out. All right, he, he looks like he's taking regular damage, which is pretty good happy to see that i can't tell though unfortunately this is the bummer of fighting in the dark besides the fact that i'm deprived his what would probably be beautiful artwork i don't get to see my blood splashes so i have a really hard time calibrating how much damage i'm actually doing beyond the fact that he turned yellow all right Let's see here. Do you have anything you can use? You got broken armor. That's great. What about you? You got anything? Uh, the Exacto Mall is cool. If only it were a Obsidian Exacto Mall. Can we do that? Did you get anything to use? Ooh, Obsidian Belt. Yes. Okay, that's really good. Um... I'm just going to give that to somebody who needs a bell. I'll pass it down the line. Maybe she can't even hold it. No. Anyway, they're not going to let me do that. Um, what about you? Noxious boots. Well, somebody puked on the boots. All right. I'm going to remove this and equip this. And then when it's your turn, my man, we'll use that. Oh, man. Um, use this. Okay. Alright, the Vampire King is still here. And he's not really getting hurt by my physical attacks much at all, it looks like it. So, 
he might be like a ghost where he turns yellow at like and pretends like he... no wait the ghost doesn't turn yellow it stays green and has a little splash like you're doing damage but you're not so i'm at least hurting this guy somehow so i'll keep doing that I'm going to use this gold necklace of recharging on um, my man here. Yep, his fireball stuff is running out of charges. So this way, we might just only be able to beat this with fireballs. That's fine. Hey, he's turning red. Thank God. Get out of here, vampire king. Man, I kept calling him Lord. That's embarrassing. He's going to... He, no wonder he's upset. Uh, you know, when you screw up people's titles... Especially if it's somebody as pretentious as a vampire. Oh my god. You know, they, they will not let you live that down. Unhappy campers through and through. Okay, so use this. We got him. And he gave me a short bow. Thanks a lot. I'll use it fondly. Um, Alright, we just have to kind of cover every single tile. The throne of the chill of the moonlit mist. Sit. Yeah, I'm going to sit on that. I enjoy things like this. Uh-oh. Uh you have to be the ultimate adventurer to sit on that. Crap. You have to clear the maze from hell to be the ultimate adventurer. So, I made the mistake of sitting in that chair and getting eradicated. That's a bummer. No, I'm not sitting in any of these thrones now that I know what's happening. So, what I need to do is come back here when I have cleared the maze from hell. So that seems like that's just next on my list, then, of things to do. Is take out the maze from hell. It's very rare that when you play a game uh, that's a fantasy RPG uh, from the early 90s that the goals of the party coincide with the goals of your own life, but I too am looking for the maze from hell and trying to clear it so I can become the ultimate adventurer. What kind of a, like, what a coincidence. It's amazing. A foreboding figure cloaked behind folded wings marks the lid of the tomb of Nishik. Guardian of the night. Open the lid. No, not right now. I have an eradicated person. Let me save it and then see if I can take this dude without worrying about that. Oh, here's the hologram sequencing card. And here's some other junk. Okay. Alright, cool. Just some treasure. And then no other... I thought there would be like some kind of super hard enemy... Nah, that looks good. It looks like it's time to go. So I'll just walk forward and get repelled. I like when you can use the old get repelled to your uh, advantage like that. Feels good. All right. Oh, there's a room that I didn't go in right below me. Um, so let me save it. I'm already cursed. Hmm, some characters may die, huh? My god. What a terrible situation. Alright, can I... Can I even make it out of here without everybody dying? How about that? Let's do that first. Let's see if we can escape. Alright, Swamp Town, here we come. Uh, let's go to the temple. When we get, when you get to the temple, looking like this, uh, with everybody cursed, people unconscious, people about to die from the curse, and an eradicated, uh, floating skull, they're probably just, you know, I, I would like to see their reaction. Oh my god. I like how the curse persists through eradication. That is unlikely. Alright, so let's go to the shop. 
And let's see what we got. Let's see if we got any good treasures in there. Um, okay, so the Scorching Club just probably does fire damage, right? It does a lot. It's almost worth keeping just for the amount of fire damage it does. It's certainly worth keeping because of the fire resistance. 30 accuracy. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Obsidian belt. Awesome. Genius crossbow. That guy is a genius. Noxious boots. Get out of here. Ooh, Photon. Yeah, now there's a prefix that I like. Uh, probably does massive energy damage, right? No. Man, I'm stupid. And by stupid, I mean I just got that wrong in terms of the fact that it does energy damage. It only does 3 to 6 damage, which is terrible. However, it gives you 47 might. Yeah, so this baby is worth it all day long. Um... Who wants 47 might? Anybody? Everybody. So that's great. That's a good one. Velocity scimitar. I think that... Um, yeah, that gives you 30 speed. So... Yes, look at this. The leprechaun's clave. It, it'll give you a whole bunch of luck, right? Um, plus 30 luck. So we're getting into the point of the game where you start getting prefixes that are just... Uh, beyond belief. Alright, let's see. What'd you get? What'd you get? Rod of vaccination. Eh, I guess I'll hold on to this. Um, ooh, an obsidian sling. Now that's really good. Alright, well, somebody can use that. Um, anything else that we have here that's cool? Hmm. Nope. We can sell this gem of vaccination, though, considering we have a rod. Um, yeah, you have no need, do you? I should go turn in these ancient artifacts of evil just for the stupid experience. Actually, I'm sorry, I meant to say just to clear up inventory space, because that's what I need more than anything. Rod of acid spraying, well... That's actually not bad. Uh, about 20 levels ago, Acid Spray probably isn't the most useful spell anymore, but that's fine. Alright. So, we still can get some good treasure. The Scorching Club can go here. We actually got two Scorching Clubs, which is cool. Um, who needs a belt? What kind of a belt do you have? You have a Steel Belt. Um, that's going to be discarded so that you can have this Obsidian Belt. And you'll enjoy that. Trust me. Um... The Photon Shortbow, who needs a whole crap load of strength is the question, right? Anybody need a bunch of strength? Um, what are you using? You're using a gold sling? Alright, yeah, you can, you can have this. Um, get rid of your gold sling. Equip this. And you have an obsidian sling, right? What are you what are you using otherwise? Ooh, the pirate crossbow, well, we're not gonna get rid of that. Um, what do you have for a ranged weapon? A platinum sling? Well, let's just uh, remove this and equip this. What do you have as a ranged weapon? The blazing short bow. Well that's good for doing some fire damage. What do you have? The sapphire sling? Probably better than platinum, and you have the Platinum Crossbow. Alright, well. We are in good shape now. Hi, she's 74 strong. Alright, so we've got a whole bunch of really strong people. Let us then... Uh, what we'll do is we'll first go to the castle to dump off these ancient artifacts of evil... And then I'm going to head over to the 
the maze from hell, um, deep in Minotaur Marsh. Minotaur Marsh. Where is this place? Um, okay. Let me see if I can find it on the map. It's in area F3. Okay, so it's just kind of like in in the swampy area around me. Okay, sure. Sure, we can take a jaunt over there. Why the hell not, right? All right. Let's go see our buddy, Malfactor. God, I really don't want to walk over the water and see him. It's annoying. Oh, you know what? I'll just teleport. That's easier for everybody. All right. Who's got the teleportation item? Is it you, my friend? Can I count on you to have the teleport? No, it's you. Here it is. Quartz leather armor. It's actually pretty good armor. You can carry this. Uh, we're just going to get rid of that. Okay. Take off your armor for one moment, equip this, and use this, and we're going to go just seven squares up. And we're going to be really close to the castle. Let's go in. Hi, Castle Dragon Tooth. How is everybody feeling? Must be a bad day if you're serving at Castle Dragon Tooth, the evil castle. Although, I, you know, that's... That's pretty judgmental. I don't know that for sure. Could be a great day. Alright. So there's 200 grand. Is anybody eligible for leveling? 400. Eligible. 400. 400. Eligible. Cool. Cool. We got two people eligible. Alright. Well then... I don't think there's a better time than now to do this. I'm going to rest. I'm going to save it. And I haven't done this yet, but I'm just going to try this because I think it'll be funny. And it could actually save us some time. So I'm going to remove this armor of teleportation and equip my regular armor. Who's got the gem of gating? You do? All right. I'm going to um, remove this, toss this over here, equip this, and then use this. Spell failed? How dare you? Spell failed? Well, it's not supposed to just keep failing. I thought it was nature's gate. Like, I thought it teleported me to... Hmm. Well, let's try it one more time. And if it fails again, then... This thing stinks. Here we go. Here we go. Maybe you have to be outside a dungeon. You can't use it inside one. Hey, look at that. It took us right home. Well, that was really convenient. Okay. So we can go here, and we can buy a torch. Glass charm, potion of curing. Nope, nope, everything else sucks. Okay, that's cool. So what we need to do is go to Red Hot first, just to level up the people that can. And also check the inventory at their shop. Praying for a of light item. Come back during daylight hours. Oh, come on. That was that was splitting hairs. It was daylight when I tried to get in the door. God, this watermelon chopping trainer needed to get somewhere. He had a party to go to or something. He was closing the shop early. Look, I mean, do you want the world to be saved? Or is your little get-together so important that you have to close the Colosseum early? All right, sorry, that was, that was a lot of negative emotion. I apologize. All right. Uh, what you got for me? What you got for me? No. 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 Scarab feasting is okay. It makes food, but food is not a problem. It's never been a problem. How much food do I have? 24 days of food. I'm drowning in food here. All right, anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. I'm going to try something that I haven't done yet. I'm going to go to the arena. So if you go to the gate and you type in arena, 
surprisingly, you enter the arena. And you look around, and there's this dude. Welcome to the arena. God, his eyes are, like, constantly shifting around. What, what you know? Are you scared? Uh, is there somebody over there? Do you wish to make battle in honor of Bellum? Yeah, of course I do. Hunt down your foes and return to me when you have won. Press a key. All right. What hit me? A bubble man. It's been a while, guys. All right. Am I done? Oh, I haven't defeated him yet. Okay. Well, this is... I mean, how am I supposed to know? Huh? All right. Am I done? Oh, my God. Okay. Fine, 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 fine. Show me where the rest of the foes are. Here they are. Maybe this is one of those situations where um, monster location would actually be good. Does it, like, actually put them on the map for you? All right. Am I done yet? Congratulations. So you get a 1,000 experience. So um, I think... Oh, and they put you back at the first town. I think what you want to do with the arena is you just keep going and the challenges get progressively harder. I thought you had to do it sequentially without leaving the arena or something like that uh, th to make it harder. But no, it just looks like you just keep going back. So let's see if I can get to a point where the experience is actually interesting. You know, like a, a nice level. Yep. Screamer. I wish my arrows would just go indefinitely and I could stand here and just clear this place out. But I think they only go as far as you can see. I mean, there is gravity, I suppose. Alright. I'm just gonna... run around until I get to where I want to get. Did I kill everybody yet? Tell me. Hey, that was a lot easier. All right, so you teleport me back. All right. So if it just moves... Let's see if it is... Um, if the growth is exponential or if it's linear. If it's going to just be your win times a thousand, then this place has really outlived its usefulness for me. But I'll see. If it starts ramping up exponentially, you know, then... In, in a bunch of runs, it could start be uh, being a value that's actually good to me. But where we're at, this is bad. Hi. Did I kill them all yet? Are they all dead? Nope. Yeah, get back in there. He's like, come on, man. You didn't defeat them all. Now I know why his eyes are shifting around all the time, though. He's, like, in the corner of this arena where they just fill it with monsters, and there's no protection. His desk is just out in the open. This is a really crappy workspace. There's no windows. He's in a dungeon. It's full of monsters. Not my style. Okay, so it's linear. So this is a big, complete disaster. Maybe early in the game, that's good. Anyway, now we know. So, it's time to position ourselves for the next challenge. So, we'll go back to Swamp Town, and we will head over to what can only be known as the Maze from Hell. See how things are doing in the Maze from Hell. Probably good, That's what I would guess, right? Alright. Let me save it, just in case I fall into a stupid patch of quicksand. It seems like something that they would do for me. But I can probably avoid it if I... That's not avoiding it. I was gonna say if I step on squares that I have already mapped, but I believe I've mapped some quicksand. Alright. So let's just do this the smart way, and um, I'm going to walk all the way to the coast, maybe? I'm going to save it here. 
Just so I don't lose anymore. So I'm gonna look for the maze from hell from the coast itself. And I'm gonna do that by, well, I could use wizard eye or I could just save it. Anybody see a maze? Here it is. Hello. Hi, everybody. I don't have the key. What? Are you kidding me? What, did I turn the black key away? I have the black terror key right here. Is that supposed, is there like a gray key or something that I just don't have? Well, apparently there is. So, if that's the case, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Swamp Town. I'm going to check a different area to explore for our fabulous Dreamtime adventures. If you recall, Wildabar has a little well that's by it that you can use to teleport. And that is 100% what I'm about to do. Okay. So, let's go to the teleporter. and go to uh, Morgan Freeman and check it out. So from this town, if I walk across the water to the east, I will arrive at Castle Greywind or the, I the islands that have those castles. However, if I just go over here and drink from one of these wells, think where is this cool well yeah this is the one this is the one and it puts us here to this island that I don't know what you would call it it's desert though it's very tropical oh okay so it's right below swamp town remember these guys were they used to be kind of challenging not anymore because I'm so fantastic Man, this guy is swinging his swords quite quickly. He had some stuff on him now. What is this? A shack? Hey, it's a barbarian hut. Break it. Yeah, 500,000. That's one hell of a haul. And a bunch of treasure? Man, I feel great destroying that barbarian stronghold. Oh. An aberrant gust of cool air escapes the darkness of the cavern. Enter. So, I'm not going to enter right now, but I think it's the Cursed Cold Cavern, which is a place I need to go anyway. Is this another barbarian hut, by the way? It looks like it. There's so many barbarians here. Can I get another 500 grand? Do you have that? Guys, everybody can get their turn. It's fine. Just, yeah, please. Come over here. There we go. Oh, it's Death Locust. Well, it's 250,000 and no treasure. Still, that's enough to get everybody up a level, and that's actually an important level because, ding, 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 um, the Well of Cures. Take a drink? No, that's too ominous for me. I don't want to drink something called the Well of Cures. This, um, Hidden Hunk is 32. He, Quiet Red's 28, 28, 30, 29. So he can get an extra attack uh, by leveling up, which is good. The Fat Shad. All right, so I'm gonna step in here. Oh, it's the Magic Cavern. Well, I was totally wrong about it being the Cursed Cold Cavern. I did think it was a bit ironic that it would be in a tropical locale. But I wouldn't put anything past this game. Alright. So we'll use our torch. We'll light up. Save the game. Let me see what anybody has. Did we get any treasure? Obsidian boots. 
platinum gauntlets are, I mean, probably poop for us at this point. I'm just discarding things. Ooh, cool. Wow, electric life wand, a duplication. <coughs> That's awesome. So we got another dupe thing, and we got a teleport. Well, we had that, but we got a raising the dead item. Um, I'm just going to discard these gauntlets, discard this bow. Man, how many uh, platinum longbows are they trying to sell us here? Apparently a lot. Ooh, platinum ring. That's actually good. Throw this baby on you. Equip this. Okay. Um, the flaming horn. Well, I'll see if it gives you fire resist. Because if it does, it's worth it. What you want to do when you're walking around the bl uh, blistering heights or whatever is have people just jacked up on steroids. Uh, and by steroids, I mean fire resistance, so they can actually survive. And you want to just have one person, usually, with that. Because trying to get your whole party there is a tall order. Do you not have on boots? Well, you do now. Maybe you had, like, boots that were, uh... magical branded and they broke or maybe these were your boots and I just took them off and forgot I did that it's all possible here okay so I'm just kind of sorting through the items getting people space together and we have the game saved we have the torch lit we have a brand new cavern to go in and this is where we will start our next adventure so we're gonna leave it right here for now and I'm going to switch games. I'm going to jump over to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. So uh, please give me a moment to uh, pull some levers, flip some switches, push a few buttons. And I will be right back to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Thanks everybody for watching. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitch. Uh, message me on Reddit, Twitter, where whichever social media platform just look for dr incompetent if you have any questions about might and magic uh, or dungeon crawl and i would be happy to respond all right everybody i'll be right back mm -hmm.